guys, it's Max, Snowy Labs, and we are here with Diego. So Diego, tell a few words. Who are you? What are you doing here at Web Summit? Um, and how are you doing? Good. Um, good, thanks. Well, I'm the managing partner of Bright Sky Ventures. We invest in early stage companies, uh, global. Um, we mainly help companies uh, expand to new markets. We have uh, a partnership with Start Ventures and with them we help companies enter the U.S. market. And we also run a joint program which is LATAM Expansion Track in which we help companies, international companies, but mainly European companies access and U.S. companies access uh, Latin America. What is the difference between the U.S. markets and uh, Latin America uh, markets? What is the difference? Sure. So uh, the U.S. it's a, a highly competitive market in terms of uh, well, there's one million startups uh, that are being created every year in the states, whereas in in, in Latin America it's a it's a, more, it's a younger uh, market and what we see is that there are many opportunities for companies to expand to this region and uh, basically the, the continent is a blue ocean. Um, we see uh, industries that can be disrupted there. Does it matter for you from uh, where is the startup? Well, um, most VCs or historically VCs try to have uh, the companies in their own cities. Even so, even sometimes like a very close, like a driving distance and within the one hour range driving. We are a global investor and we are totally comfortable uh, with our portfolio companies if uh, they're in the States, in Europe, in Latin America. So uh, we have the tools and we were born as a global company and um, we don't need our, our, our portfolio companies to be, to be, to be close. Now, what is the secret of the perfect pitch? Okay, so my opinion, I think that there are at least uh, three things that uh, a startup should be able to to present during their pitch or the message that they should convey. Uh, one, what is the, um, the opportunity and by the opportunity is basically what is the problem that they're tackling and why are they unique at tackling or assessing this, this, this problem. And when they are basically solving a, a problem, what is the opportunity in terms of market size? So I think that uh, those are really essential points. Also explaining like why not only the solution or the tech is important, but why the team is the is the is the best team to do to do this. Also, uh, from my perspective, I believe that uh, giving investors the a clear roadmap or what is the current stage of the company and where they're going to be in the next 6 to 12 months or even 24 months and also how they're going to make money. So what's the business model and who's the customer, who's going to be paying uh, and, and what actually are also the barriers to entry um, once they create their own product. Because you want to, as an investor, you want to see that your portfolio company has actually the ability to defend uh, its position in the market. What are the red flags for you when you uh, uh, see a startup? One, one red flag that I've been seeing lately is startups uh, are trying sometimes to start their, their sales uh, with a low price. And uh, for me, that's uh, somehow uh, a red flag because it indicates that there's not confidence in the, in the product or that basically that maybe the, um, they need to lower the price so that the, the client or the customer or the buyer in the end reduces, let's say, the, um, to see the, the perception of the cost. But in the end, the startups need to understand that it's not about cost, it's about what value is, is, is they're offering. So it's not money related, it's not how, how much cheaper I can be related to my competitors, but what is the additional value that I'm bringing to the table. So if there is not a consistency between value and price, that would be a, a, a big red flag for me. In terms of investors, um, let's say I, when I started Bright Sky, I, I started looking for basically external innovation across, uh, along, uh, across the world and I had uh, business angels who wanted to co-invest uh, with me. So I think those uh, were the first investors that trusted in, in, in Bright Sky and that thanks to them uh, we're where we are now. How many failed 
projects you were invested in? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say failed project, but definitely uh, sometimes uh, things don't go as you expect. Um, you are very excited about the product or the, the, the problem that is being solved. But sometimes the, the, the team is not the right one, even if they have the great idea and a great solution because in the end everything is about execution, so on the operating side, but also on who is going to be there to sell the, the product, so business development. You need to be consistent and very strong when you, through hard moments, through hardship. So mental strength is also very important and sometimes that's difficult to, to check when, when you're making uh, investments in, a, in an expedite way. Mm -hmm. So my advice in that case would be go through extensive due diligence, try to understand not, on, not only the tech but also like uh, the, the mental strength and the emotional intelligence of the, of the founding team. Mm -hmm.